What's up? Michael here. And today I'm gonna to give you a very normal review of the Canon EOS R7. Now I say normal review because I'm gonna give this as someone who's new to photography and videography and it has the perfect example, my wife. This is my wife's EOS R7 and she is new to both. So I'm gonna give you her thoughts and my thoughts and what we like and don't like. Now, since everybody likes specs, I'm gonna give you a quick rundown. It is a 32.5 megapixel cropped APS-C sensor. It has a five axis in-body image stabilization. It has a 2.36 million dollar OLED EBF. Variable angle touchscreen, a multifunctional hot shoe, dual UHS-2 memory slots, and this was purchased as a kit camera. So it comes with a 18 to 55 millimeter at 3.5 to 6.3 lens. Around the camera, we have a microphone jack, a remote shutter headphone jack, micro HDMI, USB type C. My wife thoughts, very simple and direct to the point. She loves it. It is, fits in her hand well. It's not too heavy, not too light. I put straps on. She uses this to take pictures of our kids and us when we go hiking and anything she's interested in. And she's been using it or trying to use it for vlogging. And so far, it's been doing a stand-up job. She hasn't had any real complaints besides the fact that it's overheated on her one time. But I had to explain that she let it run for two and a half hours inside. <laughs> So I wouldn't really put that as a negative again, the camera. My thoughts. I think this is a great camera. It's a great starter camera. It's a great amateur camera, a great intermediate camera. Even, hey, even a pro. I, th I think you can you take this camera, take great shots. It's not full frame, but honestly, while yes, full frame is nice, you can do whatever you want with this, it'll work just fine. You should be able to take good pictures of anything you have, doesn't matter what the brand is. What I really like, the two things I like the most, the little switch the video on off. I love being able to switch between photos and stills almost instantly. Like it is the best feeling ever. It is just on the, comparing it to the R5, you have to press the menu, the mode button, press info, select a video. Same thing when I get back to photo, mode, info, photo. It is too long. Just nice and simple. Now, my one issue with the camera, which is, I guess you could say is minor, or it could just be me being spoiled because Canon R5. I hate having to press the ISO button to change the ISO when I'm trying to take a picture. It is extremely annoying. I honestly wish there was just a dial on the back here, like the R5, where you can just scroll and quickly change it. I shouldn't have to press the button, let a little menu pop up to change, to change it and then be fine. That's just me because of the R5. I know there's probably a workaround to just make this the ISO setting, but honestly, like, just, just put a dial on the back of the body. It'd be so much easier. Other than that, no problem with the camera at all. I like it. Nice light. And I kind of like having the little switch right here for the manual focus, auto focus switch. That's, that's pretty nice having it right there. I don't mind it on lens either, but it's, it's nice. It's simple. Um, how does it stand up in video? It does 4K 60, 10 bit video in Canon C-Log3. I'm gonna throw up some pictures of my wife took, some pictures I took, and some videos my wife took, and videos I took. It'll be nice and simple, you can pair for yourself, see how it goes.
this is, this is a great camera. I definitely recommend for the price we paid with the kit lens was 1800 plus tax. I think it's on sale now. I would definitely recommend this to anyone who wants to start photography or even as a second camera because I know I use I definitely use the second camera in my R5. Well, those are me and my wife's thoughts on the Canon R7. If you liked my video, leave a like, leave a comment if you think there's something I could do better, and stay tuned. I have a few more reviews coming out for a couple lenses. I'm gonna review the R5 also. And if you like some, want to see some more of my pictures or videos, you can check me on Instagram or my website. Thank you. See you around.